So the year I was born, my parents filed for bankruptcy. I was born in April and they filed in September. And because of what my parents went through, my whole first part of my life was completely different because they got to this point and they said, okay, no matter what, we're not doing this. We're not going back, no matter what. And because of that, there was a lot of sacrifice on their end. And especially now that I'm a mom, I look back and I'm like, okay, they had my sister and, my, and me, I mean, two small kids to this process. And I remember we never went shopping. Like we always went to consignment sales. We never went on vacation. I mean, we, they, mom and dad really, really made these sacrifices for us. And I look at that and I am eternally grateful because what I grew up with was kind of a financial bubble in a sense, but that debt was a four letter word. And it was just something you always, stayed away from. And traveling with my dad early on in my life and working at events and doing all these things in our, in our family business, I saw the pain that debt not only caused my family, but so many people out there. And that's one of my favorite parts of my job is helping people become free of this and get out of debt. And that's why here at Ramsey Solutions, people come here to do their debt-free screams live on the Dave Ramsey Show. And it's some of my favorite calls because People will call in or again, some of them will drive or fly from all over America to come to Ramsey Solutions and get on the phone and do their debt-free scream. And they get to explain their story and all the sacrifice that they did as a family. And you meet everyone when you come through our lobby. But my favorite people that I get to meet and see are the young families that come in because the doors to our office will open up and a little five-year-old boy will come sprinting in because he's been in the car for like eight hours. And then a mom will come in behind him holding a, a toddler on her hip. And then a dad walks in holding a baby carrier with this brand new baby. And it's the family. And they're, they're, they don't look heroic. They don't look like something special. They don't look like they just walked out of a magazine. They look like the everyday family. But what they have done is extraordinary. And they get on that call and they talk through how the dad took out an extra job and worked overtime for almost two years. And I look at that and I just, I hear it and I see it and I think about it. And I'm like, how many soccer games did he possibly miss? Like what things did he miss to make this sacrifice for the good of his family? And that mom, I think about her and I'm like, she was basically a single mom. I mean, how many nights did she put those kids to bed by herself, which is exhausting. We all know that, bedtime is hard. <laughs> but I look at this family, I'm like, they did it. And why did they do it? They did it to pay off everything from $30,000 to hundreds of thousands of dollars, some people. But it doesn't matter the, what the debt was, the amount, it was the sacrifice that they made. And as they get ready to do their debt-free screams, they put on the radio headsets, and they bend down the parents and they have their kids right there with them and the kids are getting excited because they have a job to do and they've been practicing for eight hours for this exact moment. But this dad and mom, they get to look at their kids and say, okay, are you ready? And they get to count it down and they say, three, two, one. And in unison with these little chipmunk voices in the background, this whole family screams out, we're dead. Free. And every time I see these families or I hear those calls, I mean, it makes me cry because I think I was that little girl. Like that little girl that that mom was holding right now, that was me. And my life would be so different if my parents decided to go back and that their legacy was one of stress and debt and that's how life is. But they chose a different path and because of that, my life is forever changed. 